Hello everyone and uh, thank you for joining me. Welcome back to another astrology video of mine. My name is Sean Van Deveen and today I'm going to be uh, talking about the uh, rising sign of Cancer or uh, Cancer Ascendant. Now um, the Ascendant uh, first of all is uh, the zodiac sign that was uh, rising on the eastern uh, horizon at the time of one's birth. It is given. So um, in this case uh, when uh, the sign of the crab was uh, rising at the time of uh, one's birth, then they'll be considered to be a cancer rising or a can cancer ascendant. Now, what uh, cancer rising uh, individuals uh, are, what they uh, are like in appearance, um, in uh, behavior, is that they come across as uh, being very uh, shy, um, being um, very emotional, being uh, very sensitive. Uh, cancer is uh, probably the most uh, sensitive sign out of uh, all of the uh, signs in the zodiac. So it comes as no surprise that uh, these natives um, tend to be uh, somewhat reserved, uh, somewhat uh, timid in uh, opening uh, themselves up to uh, other people, and they can be uh, very emotional. Uh, cancer rising uh, individuals are uh, they are uh, represented by the moon. The moon uh, uh, is uh, ruling their chart. So wherever their uh, moon is placed, uh, that's where uh, their emotions will mostly uh, play out. Now, uh, the way I like to uh, talk about rising signs is like I like to uh, dissect them by. Uh, talking about to each uh, cusp. So uh, I'll uh, start off by uh, describing what uh, the first house is like, uh, the uh, physical appearance and uh, how one uh, readily presents himself to uh, the outside world. Now, um, it should be noted that uh, cancer rising uh, individuals, um, they uh, take on the uh, physical appearance of uh, one who's uh, not too tall. They can have very round faces and uh, they can have a lot of expression in their eyes. Um, th it's, uh, I should point out that uh, cancer is ruled by the crab. So uh, on the surface, these, these pe in people may look uh, very tough, uh, very hard to uh, break. Uh, but yet, deep down inside, they're very uh, warm and emotional human beings. Um, they're quite uh, sympath sympathetic uh, to those uh, in need, and um, often they'll lend a hand helping hand to uh, whoever uh, needs it. Now, without further ado, let's get into uh, more about Cancer Rising. Now, when... Um, Cancer is on the first house or on the ascendant, uh, which represents the uh, physical appearance. Cancer rising uh, people, uh, like I've mentioned, they uh, come across as uh, shy, reserved, emotional. Uh, they uh, may have uh, a hard shell on the surface of their face. They may try to look tough, uh, but deep down they're uh, bottling up their uh, their emotions. Um, they uh, sometimes uh, have uh, difficulty, in my opinion, on uh, trying to uh, achieve uh, true happiness or contentment. And um, it uh, has to do a lot with the uh, moon uh, representing emotions. Uh, cancer rising people uh, have uh, fluctuating emotions. So uh, they may uh, appear very uh, happy one day and uh, quite upset the following day. And um, they um, have a very, uh, in my mind, they're very uh, warm-hearted individuals and uh, kind and sympathetic and sweet uh, to those who they uh, consider as friends. Now, with Leo sitting on the uh, second house cusp, cancer rising uh, individuals uh, take a lot of pride in uh, making uh, their 
making good money. Um, they uh, are able to uh, generate a good fortune. And uh, the way they can um, achieve this is if they uh, pursue uh, professions uh, in acting, um, anything to uh, do with um, royalty, uh, self-confidence. Um, these uh, individuals may uh, be very good teachers because of their uh, ability to uh, shine uh, in uh, the classroom, um, w coupled with their uh, sympathetic nature. And um, the cancer rising people have to be very careful uh, not to uh, spend uh, their earnings uh, too much on uh, luxury items. Uh, which uh, can get the uh, better of them. And with Virgo sitting on the uh, third house cusp, cancer rising uh, individuals, uh, they're quite uh, diligent and thoughtful and uh, meticulous in their words and ways of writing. They like to uh, think things over uh, very uh, carefully before uh, saying or writing anything. Um, they're... Uh, they have uh, means of uh, researching uh, material in order to uh, develop their uh, communication skills, uh, develop their writing skills, whether it's uh, uh, utilizing their uh, dictionary or thesaurus or um, just having the uh, right attitude when it comes to uh, matters of education. And uh, they may uh, be somewhat discriminating towards their uh, brothers and sisters since the third house uh, rules uh, siblings and um, they uh, like to use uh, discernment and judgment when it comes to uh, dealing with them. Now with Libra sitting on the fourth house cusp, uh, Libra represents the sign of uh, justice and fair play. Cancer rising uh, individuals uh, often interact as the mediator whenever they're um, dealing with matter matters within their uh, home environment. Um, they may uh, come to uh, serve as a mediator between a dispute uh, with between uh, their mother and father. And uh, when it comes to their domestic sphere, cancer rising uh, individuals. Uh, love to uh, adorn their uh, house with uh, good furniture, good attractive furniture, um, and um, often they're uh, fortunate enough to uh, purchase their own home. Uh, cancer rising individuals uh, love uh, the feeling of peace and serenity within their uh, home environment, and uh, they will make sure they will, uh, they will, uh, keep up with uh, maintaining a, a good, clean a home environment uh, furnished with uh, luxury items that uh, bring them so much uh, peace and harmony. Now, with uh, Scorpio sitting on the uh, fifth house cusp, uh, cancer rising individuals, uh, uh, when it comes to uh, fun and children and excitement, um, they may uh, be overprotective and uh, overbearing towards their uh, own children with uh, Scorpio uh, influencing uh, the fifth house uh, being ruled by uh, Mars and uh, Pluto. Um, that uh, level of intensity uh, um, gives the uh, cancer rising uh, natives uh, such a uh, protective nature that uh, they may come across as uh, being uh, intimidating towards their uh, own children. They're not trying to uh, be abusive to them in any way, not at all. They're doing their very best to uh, protect them, to uh, look out for them. And um, when it comes to uh, dating, um, cancer raising uh, individuals may uh, pursue sex for pleasure, uh, Scorpio being the uh, sign of sex. So um, it uh, is... a uh, it, it, it does bring a cancer rising individuals a lot of uh, pleasure. Um, they may not, uh, they're not at all interested in uh, one night stands. They want to find the uh, perfect partner, 
uh, with uh, Capricorn sitting on the seventh house cusp, but which we'll eventually get to. But um, the uh, sexual pleasure they uh, derive uh, great joy from. Now, with the Sagittarius sitting on the sixth house cusp, cancerizing individuals, uh, when it comes to matters of uh, work and uh, health, um, they uh, are actually very uh, fortunate to uh, view uh, their work environment as uh, very fun and exciting, as long as it uh, brings them great pleasure. If um, they have a job that's uh, too boring, uh, too um, monotonous, um, they won't uh, gain much pleasure from, they won't really uh, care much uh, about it at all. And so it's important for them to uh, find a, a job that uh, really uh, allows them to be expansive, to um, grow, to uh, mature, and um, it, which will enable them, enable them to uh, seek out new horizons. Cancer rising individuals may, uh, may uh, accept a job, a job in which uh, they have to travel. Uh, with uh, Sagittarius being uh, a sign of uh, travel. And um, they may um, take up uh, jobs as uh, teachers with um, Sagittarius uh, being uh, the ruler of uh, philosophy, higher wisdom. And um, they, cancer rising individuals can uh, bestow great wisdom upon their uh, colleagues at work. And so, yes... Now, with Capricorn sitting on the Descendant, or the Seventh House Cusp, Cancer Rising individuals uh, seek partners who are very mature, who are established, uh, and um, they often, uh, they may uh, seek out partners who are older than them, who are wiser than them, who have more experience. Um, they uh, want partners who... Uh, uh, are very uh, serious towards uh, their outlook on life. And uh, those who are well-established financially, those who, are, who have a secure profession, and uh, overall have uh, great ambitions in life. Now, with Aquarius sitting on the uh, eighth house cusp, cancer rising individuals, when it comes to uh, sexuality, uh, joint finances, and um, death and rebirth. Um, they, cancer rising individuals um, may uh, seek out uh, unusual um, <clears throat> means of uh, expressing their sexuality. Um, they uh, often uh, affiliate uh, with uh, groups with the influence of Aquarius who um, who uh, discuss uh, sexual matters, and uh, in my opinion, they may uh, be involved in uh, groups or organizations that uh, deal with uh, insurance uh, financing, um, wills. Uh, they uh, may take part in uh, in a group to. Um, to determine who uh, gets paid out, which uh, insurance premiums uh, they will get, or um, they uh, are very uh, original, and they're very original when it uh, they have uh, <clears throat> sexual ideas, and um, yes, so that's that, and with uh, Pisces sitting on the ninth house cusp. Uh, cancer rising uh, individuals uh, have uh, high uh, regard, have the highest regards for uh, matters regarding uh, truth, uh, religion, and uh, philosophy, and um, they uh, are actually uh, very uh, spiritual people. Uh, they uh, they uh, often seek out uh, mystics, uh, spiritual gurus, for uh, spiritual advice. And um, they, for them to um, self-actualize and to um, learn uh, the higher lessons of life, 
cancer rising individuals need to realize that uh, everybody uh, has their own uh, beliefs about uh, religion and uh, philosophy. Um, not uh, everybody has to uh, conform to the uh, same level of uh, beliefs uh, or um, agree to uh, the same beliefs as uh, they do. Um, everybody has their own uh, free will, th free thought, uh, three, free modes, free ways of expressing themselves and uh, the cancer rising uh, individual needs to uh, understand this. Now with Aries sitting on the uh, 10th house cusp, cancer rising individuals, uh, when it comes to their uh, career and uh, overall uh, reputation towards society, um, they may uh, be uh, impulsive when uh, choosing a career. Um, that's why they need to uh, take the time to uh, settle down and uh, review their options before uh, making a uh, valid choice. But once they make that choice, uh, they uh, pursue it with uh, steadfast determination. Uh, cancer rising individual individuals can uh, be very uh, ambitious um, once they've uh, chosen their um, profession and they can uh, pursue uh, the uh, higher echelons of the corporate ladder quite aggressively. But one, usually once they uh, do, uh, they don't uh, necessarily uh, care uh, about whether or not they have reached the top with um, due to the impulsive nature of uh, Aries and with uh, Mars ruling that uh, respective sign. But um, yes, cancer rising individuals can be uh, very ambitious yet uh, impulsive towards their uh, career goals with uh, Aries sitting on the 10th house cusp. Now with Taurus sitting on the 11th house cusp, cancer rising individuals uh, seek when it comes to uh, group organizations and uh, and uh, reaching out to um, hi to higher society um, they um, don't have a lot of friends but the ones they do have they're very uh, steady and uh, loyal and uh, these are the kinds of friends uh, who can help them become uh, very wealthy and um, the cancer rising uh, native will appreciate this so much that uh, they will reward uh, those uh, in their uh, group affiliations with uh, undying loyalty. Um, they uh, can use uh, uh, group uh, settings to um, purchase the uh, luxuries that they need and uh, help them basically become wealthy. And uh, last but not least, but not least, Gemini sitting on the twelfth uh, house cusp. Um, when it comes to uh, the unconscious mind and uh, higher spirituality, cancer rising individuals uh, they do uh, have a very uh, active mind uh, with the influence of Gemini, uh, with being ruled by uh, the planet Mercury. Um, however, they uh, do have the tendency to uh, express their um, their anxieties and uh, worries onto uh, other people which can uh, make them feel uh, very nervous but and they can also uh, enjoy uh, gossip but um, whenever they're um, alone uh, cancer rising uh, individuals uh, have a better time uh, thinking clearly and uh, being uh, intellectual and uh, using their um, intellect and uh, knowledge to um, help uh, mankind uh, in that regard. But um, they have to be careful that not to uh, allow their uh, ideas be taken advantage of. Otherwise, uh, they can be uh, get really hurt. Celebrities born with uh, cancer rising include Julia Roberts, Cameron Diaz, Kanye West, uh, Paul Rudd, Cher, and Angelina Jolie. The tarot card that uh, represents Cancer Rising is that of the Chariot. Now, as you can see here, this uh, card depicts uh, a scene 
of a uh, princely figure riding a chariot. And uh, instead of two horses, there are uh, two sphinxes uh, guiding him. Uh, one's uh, veering to uh, the left, where uh, the other one is veering to the right. Uh, this card uh, symbolizes uh, the need for uh, willpower and uh, determination to uh, get to one's uh, destination. And uh, cancer rising uh, individuals uh, need to um, strike a, a chord between uh, managing their uh, emotions in uh, order to uh, guide themselves throughout life. So overall, Cancer Rising natives are uh, very emotional and uh, reserved. They uh, don't uh, like to open themselves up to uh, people uh, in crowds uh, very much, but uh, they uh, do have a few select friends who are very loyal and um, they are very uh, spiritual and uh, often they uh, seek security in their relationships and um, they uh, are very uh, sexual as well. So this has been my uh, interpretation on the Cancer Rising Native. I uh, do hope that you found this uh, explanation to be uh, very helpful. I uh, do want to thank you for watching. My name is uh, Sean Vandeveen and um, I'll just close by saying peace, much love and namaste. God bless you. Stay safe and uh, be kind to one another. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'll hope to see you again soon.